We got a bit of a mad coaster out there, um, Hyperia, perhaps you've heard of it. <laughs> right, I'm gonna start with this before I get too much hate. I love Hyperia. It's the best roller coaster in the country, in my opinion. This video is more what I think could be better around the roller coaster, as well as discussing things that were negatively impacted due to the addition of Hyperia. But I didn't call it that because that's not a catchy title. And I'm a view hungry YouTuber. Now, if you don't hate me yet and enjoy the content, please do consider subscribing with notifications turned on. I'd really appreciate it. Now let's get into it. And first, to avoid falling into the trap of belittling something that is a great engineering masterpiece, something that I could never even dream of achieving, I will do my best to explain exactly why my opinion is what it is, and where I believe these incredibly talented engineers and designers could have made the experience even better, hopefully with some constructive criticism. And that's because I'm a fan of theme parks. I admire those who create these amazing rides, but I'm passionate about the topic and therefore I have opinions and I enjoy reviewing and critiquing, just like a lot of passionate people. Now let's not wait to address the elephant in the room, the queue line which isn't a large mammal. It's just an open-aired cattle pen with absolutely nothing. It's very depressing. There's no shade, no shelter. This is England. Do not give us any excuse to complain about the weather. What the flip? It's too hot. What the flip? I'm getting wet. It's too cold. No, I take it back. I'm glad they've done that. I love complaining about the weather. Furthermore, there's no build-up to the ride. There's no theming, no men... No, there is a mention of finding your fearless. But other than the ride, there's nothing to look at. And what is the golden moment? That was the golden moment. Fair enough, Dom. Still, there's nothing to entertain us until you get on the ride. Or in the station, there's some nice Easter eggs and a little launch sequence, so to speak. But this is all easily resolved and can easily be added later on. Canopies can be added for shade and shelter. Look at Wicker Man, although it is only over the fast pass queue, you get what you pay for. On top of that, theming could be added so we can actually enjoy ourselves at the park when not on the coaster, which is 99% of the time. Genuinely, it's like a one minute ride that usually has a 99 minute queue. Other parks such as Disney, Efteling, Fantasialand, even other Merlin parks have done this. Look at Alton Towers with Wickerman and Nemesis, Chessington with The World of Jumanji, Vampire, Dragons. Just sort it out, Fort Park, please. So, any canopies for shade and shelter or props in the queue line would make it so much better and it wouldn't be that expensive. Also, in the queues are bins and shops, so we need bins. Yes. We all like things that keep our queue lines tidy and most importantly don't have any access for staff to get to the bins and empty them when they overflow. And this is brilliant because it leads to corners of the queue essentially becoming a tip, creating a patch of absolute filth that will likely develop its own demonic ecosystem by 7pm when the ride closes. Bunch of free eyed fish walking around already seen them fly. So if they just add gates to the queue line fencing, then we're all happy. That was off the scale. <laughs> Sir. Speaking of what we've seen, I'm going to address my personal issue with the ride called Saw. I never like an extreme coaster that dwarfs another extreme coaster. It diminishes its impact, like Shambhala. I can't take Dragon Khan seriously anymore, it's an absolute joke. This is even worse, and I'll tell you for why, because Saw is a hidden roller coaster, encapsulated in trees. It's meant to have an air of mystery around it, much like the films where it wouldn't be much of a detective job if you could just see where all the crimes were happening. It's meant to be secretive. Now, unlike the films where the locations are very much a secret, it's more open and the feeling of curiosity is lost. And the feeling of confinement when in the area is also lost. Everything is lost. Where's 
Where's my pen? Got it, set. Nemesis one. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Unfortunately for Saw, there's not really an easy resolution. Unless they plant a bunch of 200 foot conifers. Anyway, it might be called Saw, but I don't want to see everything before I go on the ride. That was terrible, sorry. I'll cut there. Thanks so much for watching. Like the video if you did enjoy it. Ciao, legends. I still got him. That was good, wasn't it? Please, sir, can we have some more? You don't have to call me, sir. But here's your link. Click it. Sir pun a lot would sound cool, though. Got it. Got it. Send.